four issues with Pixel 7 Pro that Pixel 8 Pro needs to fix. First is the selfie camera issue, the autofocus needs to make a return on Pixel 8 Pro because right now the selfies from Pixel 7 Pro are fuzzy, soft, out of focus and the details are missing. I always look like the foreground blur and the background looks perfectly sharp. The skin tones and dynamic range processing is really really good but what's the point if details are missing and I look like the foreground blur? And what is the point of providing 4K 30 and 4K 60 HDR videos if my face is gonna be out of focus anyway? The second issue I have with Pixel 7 Pro is the portrait mode and cinematic mode. The cinematic video needs to improve the edge detection approach, it needs to crank up the resolution to 4K, it needs to provide 24 and 30 frames per second. The portrait mode features a 1.33 crop plus it has the over sharpening and the edge detection is not good. Pixel over sharpens the image too much it tries to bring out the texture that is not even present and it looks horrible. Third is the display technology. Right now the display on Pixel 7 Pro is really good but it is using the rigid AMOLED panel. It is very similar to the S21 Ultra. It needs to switch to the flexible OLED panel that is present on the iPhone 14 Pro and S23 Ultra. On top of that it needs to start using the LTPO refresh rate that can vary from 1Hz to 120Hz or on the Pixel 7 Pro it can vary from 10Hz to 120Hz. Using this LTPO refresh rate will save battery life and it also needs to add the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. Right now it is using the optical fingerprint scanner and it's fine but it's not not that reliable, it's not that fast and it does not work with your sweaty fingers. Number 4 is the Tensor G3 chip. It needs to be more powerful. Right now I don't have any issues with Pixel 7 Pro. Tensor G2 chip paired with 120Hz display, 12 gigs of RAM and amazing haptic motor equals awesome user experience. But gaming needs some real improvements. It needs improvements in GPU and some improvements in CPU. I don't play games but a lot of the audience do. But there are three aspects where Pixel 7 Pro absolutely killed it. That is the design, rear cameras and haptic motor. The design is beautiful on Pixel 7 Pro, especially in this white color. It features Victus glass back and front, aluminium frame that wraps around the camera modules and in general it has a super solid build quality and super premium in hand feel. And Pixel 7 Pro has the best haptic motor and Pixel uses that haptic motor everywhere. Fingerprint scanner, notification panel, app drawer, recent apps, camera, clock, keyboard. The rear cameras on Pixel 7 Pro are awesome. Pixel 7 Pro takes the best photos on any smartphone. And the pixel image processing of neutral colors, softer contrast, impeccable dynamic range, controlled sharpening with fast shutter speed and now lower exposure times is really really fun to use. And yeah that's it.